Thank you so much, Tom. All happening right now. A wallaby is on the loose. The Memphis Zoo needs your help to find it. This is what the missing marsupial looks like. The animal apparently escaped during yesterday's storm, but now a search is underway to find the wild wallaby. Fox 13's Julian Paris is joining us live in Midtown tonight. Julian, this is such a strange situation. Is there any update on this missing wallaby? Yeah, that's right. It's for sure strange. The, the zoo is still searching for the missing wallaby. As you mentioned, it's sort of like a small kangaroo. And during yesterday's storm, apparently that's when uh, folks realized when they were relocating animals to the animal, the zoo's animal hospital, that's when they realized the missing wallaby has been gone. So what they were telling uh, folks and also on uh, social media is that Memphis police has also joined in the search for the wild wallaby. Uh, up to this point, the wallaby has not been found. And you mentioned this was a, this is very strange and people in the area where it all happened completely agree and they're wondering when it will be found. Well, I sure hope they find it before it becomes roadkill. Well, it's, it's a shame it got away. And zoo staff have begun searching yesterday and today. They'll be continuing that search until someone is able to find it. They mentioned they're gentle creatures, a bit skittish, but if anyone comes across it, do not approach it. Instead, call the Memphis Zoo immediately. Live in Midtown, Julian Paris, Fox 13 News. Thank you, Julian. And you'll remember this is not the first time that we've seen an animal escape from the Memphis Zoo. A lot of people still remember the 2015 escape of Zim the monkey. This macaque evaded capture by hiding in the zoo's drainage system for three days. She even had a parody Twitter account that racked up more than a thousand followers. She really wasn't tweeting, though. It was a joke. Even further back in 1976, a group of Reese's monkeys escaped from the Memphis Zoo and made their way to nearby Rhodes Campus, where they climbed to the top of Burl Library. Zookeepers fed them tranquilizer-laced popcorn. One by one, they were caught safely as they fell asleep. All right, another look at the search happening right now for that missing wallaby. We're going to continue to follow this story closely. We will have updates for you throughout this newscast. The next one coming up at 530.